today I am here at SeaWorld Orlando to show you all the top things to see and do here on your next trip. Even though I was here a couple of weeks ago, today I'm really gonna be exploring SeaWorld for the first time in about five years. That was the last time I was truly here and going and riding every ride, even though, yes, I was here a couple weeks ago. That was mainly to ride the new Pipeline roller coaster and ride Mako for the first time. But today I'm really gonna be exploring SeaWorld and showing you all some of the top things to see and do here in the park. Typically, when people think of SeaWorld, they think of all of the marine life here in the park. But I'm gonna give you all a fun fact. It is self-claimed but SeaWorld calls itself the coaster capital of Orlando. And that is what I'm gonna start with today, riding some of their roller coasters, some of the best roller coasters here in Orlando, because there is no better way to wake up in the morning than going to ride a roller coaster. So let's go get on Pipeline the Surf Coaster, the brand new roller coaster here at SeaWorld Orlando. So this time on Pipeline at the Surf Coaster, I actually rode in the back. I rode in row 11, which was a lot of fun. You get a ton of airtime. Honestly, I enjoyed Pipeline way more this time around than I did when I first rode it. I think because now I'm expecting all the airtime that you get in the first time I wasn't. I don't know, it, it's such a fun roller coaster, front or back, both of them are great. But now, I'm also here to ride, I would say one of their newer coasters. I think it's been open about a year, Icebreaker. Just got off Icebreaker and let me tell you all, that was so much fun, especially in the front row. Um, I love how it starts, the you know, kind of the rolling start, it goes up the hill, comes back down. It, it was so much fun and a lot faster than I thought. Throughout this video, I'm gonna rank my favorite roller coasters from one to, I believe there is five roller coasters here, so one through five. Yeah, I believe Mako is gonna keep the number one slot, but Icebreaker was so much fun. I definitely wasn't expecting, like I said, how quick it was and how fast it was. Highly recommend going on that ride while you're here at SeaWorld Orlando. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from our coasters, maybe go inside, check out some of the marine life here, and uh, get some AC because it's very hot out here. Okay, so now I decided not to go inside. I'm actually gonna go on Infinity Falls here, which is their water raft ride. I believe it has one of the tallest drops for a water raft ride in the world, maybe in America. I'll look that up, I'll put it in here. But I'm uh, gonna go on that and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, not get soaked. You know when you like get in line for something or you're about to get in line for something and you're like, oh, this is a great idea, it's hot outside. This water ride's gonna feel great. I'm seeing people get off of it and they are completely drenched. So this might be a terrible decision. Riding it as one of my first rides of the day and then being completely soaked. I might jinx myself by saying it, but hopefully my shoes stay kind of dry and socks aren't wet because that's the worst feeling ever is wet socks. Yeah, I can see it. So there's like two cameras on it. So it sees like frontwards and backwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, is that a on right now? Mm -hmm. Sophia, Sophia from like, hey, what's your YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we almost got crushed by an elevator over there. Really? So, um, okay. Yeah. So there's two rafts. Uh -huh. Once we up the elevator, we stopped. 
two inches below it. Then here comes the elevator. It turns a little bit and gets up. We almost got left. smashed. Oh no. We almost got smashed. Oh. Oh yeah, we almost did. It was. Yeah, literally. It was. Oh yeah, we're all. I don't know. It might be us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit, not, nothing too crazy. This guy fell I saw it earlier, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, 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 so it didn't end up being that bad. I got a little soaked on my back. Shoes aren't soaked at all. Ah, my right one is a little bit, but not as bad as I was expecting it to be with the way people were getting off that ride, looking completely drenched like they had just taken a shower with their clothes on. But it was so much fun. Uh, only thing is, I don't know if my camera actually got any recordings of it. It was acting up. So if you guys saw it, you saw the video of me riding Infinity Falls. If you didn't, I apologize. I'll come back and ride it again. I don't know what was going on with it. It was being funky, it was being weird. Hopefully, you guys saw some footage. Who knows, but now, it's time to dry off a little bit and go on my favorite roller coaster here, Mako. Man, I do not understand how Mako does not have some insane weight. I mean, it's probably because there's probably maybe 100 people here in SeaWorld today, but it's insane. The best, absolutely the best right here. Dried, dried myself off a little bit, um, but like I said, walked right on, front row. I believe there was maybe five people in the whole roller coaster with me, which was insane for being the absolute best right here in SeaWorld Orlando. But <laughs> while I was getting my locker, I know I just told you all, about the whole situation with my camera on Infinity Falls and why it was you know, giving me problems. I just realized that uh, the SD card that I was using on that camera had run out of memory. I don't, <laughs> you know what, I'm a nice guy and I promise you I would go on Infinity Falls because it's a hot day. I already went, I'm a little wet. I'm, a, I'm not gonna go right now, but I promise you I'll, I'll go back on it today. It, I know, I just know. My luck is I'm gonna come off on my second time absolutely soaked. But you know what, I gotta show you all uh, what Infinity Falls is like, and especially that drop at the very end. Um, I got lucky on the last one, didn't get very wet at all, just a little bit here and there. I know my luck, and I'm testing my luck by riding it again, but I wanna show you guys how fun it is. I'm gonna get absolutely soaked. But before that, there's still more roller coasters to ride, and I promise y'all, we're gonna go check out the Shark Encounter. So let's go inside and check that out. It's a sick. So I just got out of the shark encounter, which I thought was really cool. Even though I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger and a lot more sharks in there, instead of just that one giant tank that you take the moving walkway towards, or through I should say, it was a lot of fun and really cool to see all those sharks just like swimming above you. 
Um, it was awesome. But now heading over to the Orca Encounter because it is 11.30 and the first show of the day is at noon. So I'm gonna go over there and watch the Orca show and take y'all with me. I can definitely tell how my phone flew out the last time I rode Manta. Man, that thing was intense. 
I don't know, man. I don't know if I, I might have it over Mako. I mean, Mako's really fun, really fast, but this thing, the inversions, how intense it is, how fast it is. I was in the last row, and man, it was crazy. Definitely gonna have to do that again another time when I come here to SeaWorld Orlando. But the cool thing is, I, I totally forgot about this, is inside the queue, there is an aquarium. So you can go in and see some you know, marine life while you're walking through the queue. But, wow. I, I, Manta and Mako might have to be 1A and 1B. Those roller, the, these roller coasters are amazing. So much fun. If you love high intense roller coasters, you're gonna love Manta. Right now, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna check out this aquarium over here. Uh, the aquarium, the beautiful ocean next to Manta. Who knows what this aquarium will have in it. Maybe it'll have some sharks. Never been in here before. Even when I came years ago, I've never been in here. Um, because I feel like the shark encounter, there goes Manta. I feel like the shark encounter didn't have a ton of sharks, so let's check it out. Well, kind of jinx myself because there wasn't much in that aquarium either, but it was really cool to see. And I also realized that that's the aquarium that you can see in the queue for Manta. But now I only have two more rides left that I'm gonna get done here and show you all. That is gonna be Journey to Atlantis, which is a water ride, and then it's going to be Kraken. The last time I rode Journey to Atlantis right here, I was probably about 10 or 11 years old. I'll insert the photo here. I was scared to death of this ride and this major drop it has. Let's get on Journey to Atlantis and maybe we'll see how scared I get this time. It's, it's a pretty steep drop. So it does look like Journey to Atlantis is experiencing some technical difficulties at the moment. So it's currently closed. Not sure when it's gonna reopen, but let's head across the way and ride Kraken real quick. We'll get that one knocked out and maybe come back here and ride Journey to Atlantis. I will have to say Kraken is definitely the last roller coaster on my list of top roller coasters here at SeaWorld Orlando. It's really old and rickety and bounce your head back and forth. I know that footage was probably crazy rough because it's a very, very rough roller coaster. So if you all don't like rough roller coasters, I highly recommend not getting on Kraken because it's really, really rough. But let's head back over to Journey to Atlantis to see maybe if it's reopened again. So just saw a group of people come down on Journey to Atlantis. So it does look like it has reopened for the day, but that line over here looks a little long right now. As you can see, it stretches all the way from there, all the way to here, and it loops in and out. So I might have to come back in a little bit once the line dies down, but it is getting hot. So I'm not sure if it ever is gonna die down because it is a very hot day today here in Orlando. And obviously, a water ride is very refreshing, but let's go and walk into the Arctic area over here. Maybe kind of cool down and go check out some penguins. I really do love the theming of this Arctic area. It's really cool, other than the fact that it's supposed to look like it's really cold out here, and it is about a thousand degrees outside here in Orlando. And right across here is the Empire of the Penguin, which is the penguin exhibit. But as you can tell, this is a very, very long line to get in. So I don't know if I'm gonna get in this, because as you can see, it starts there, and it stretches out all the way down here, and then loops around. So, might not do that today, maybe might come back later, who knows. So I went over to Infinity Falls because I was gonna go ride it again, but it turned out to be a 60 minute wait. And I'll be honest, I'm not waiting that to go and ride a water ride, especially by myself. But I found an even better way to cool off. I went and got my free beer of the day here at SeaWorld. Uh, if you didn't know, if you didn't see the last video, everyone 21 and over gets a free seven ounce beer 
from now until July 27th. Now, I will say, this is not a seven ounce beer. This is way bigger than a seven ounce beer. They scanned my annual pass, and I forgot to ask if we get like a bigger beer because we're annual pass holders. I'm not sure, but that might be the answer. I got a 12 ounce IPA instead of a little seven ounce one. So, hey, free beer, can't complain. I mean, honestly, I would come to SeaWorld just for the free beer alone. I mean, really, how, you can't beat free beer. This is, this is an awesome promotion SeaWorld is doing. So during the summertime, SeaWorld does have a SeaWorld Summer Spectacular called Ignite. It's a fireworks show out here on the water. I will not be staying for that tonight because obviously it looks like it's gonna rain and I just do not wanna be here at SeaWorld all day long. But one time, I'm gonna come here at night, enjoy some rides, and watch the Ignite fireworks show. Well, I am finishing, well, I am finishing today's video in my truck again because it is three o'clock in the afternoon in Florida, and what does that mean? Thunderstorms, it is raining outside, so gonna finish the video here in the truck today. But I really had a lot of fun at SeaWorld today riding all of their roller coasters. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna make a list right now of the top five, or my top five in order, of the best roller coasters here. Number one, I know earlier I had a toss up. Number one is gonna go to Mako. Number two could be a 1B would be Manta. At number three, I'm gonna go Pipeline. It is a lot of fun. It is their brand new roller coaster here, and you get a ton of airtime. It's, it's a lot of fun. Definitely go on it if you're coming here to SeaWorld. Number four, and it, it's it's a great roller coaster. Icebreaker, a lot of fun, very fast, especially that really cool launch, how you start off and come back and go forth and then shoot off up into the roller coaster, a lot of fun. And then in dead last, like I said earlier, is gonna be Kraken. It's, it's pretty much one, Mako, 1B, Manta, 3 is going to be Pipeline, 3B would be Icebreaker, and then like 50 feet of dirt, and then Kraken. I just did not have fun on that at all. I can't wait to go back home actually and watch the footage of that because halfway through it, I think I grabbed my camera because I thought it was going to, because I was shaking so much on the ride. I thought I was going to, I thought the camera was going to fly off, honestly. Um, so that one is absolutely in dead last. Went and rode Infinity Falls, obviously. Had some issues with the camera, so you guys didn't get to see the full footage of that ride. Tried to go back, but wait was way too long. I was not waiting on that, and I'm grateful now because it's raining, there's lightning, so it probably closed, so it would have been a waste of time to go and ride that ride. But today's video is all about showing the top things to see and do here at SeaWorld Orlando. Now, I know I didn't get to go on Journey to Atlantis, which I was really looking forward to, but with it being down and then the hour plus wait time that it had once it reopened because the weather just got extremely hot. And obviously, why wouldn't everyone want to go on a water ride when it's extremely hot out? I just didn't feel like waiting that long for the ride, but I did show you all that photo of me when I was about 11 or 12 going down the big drop of Journey to Atlantis. So I feel like that made up for me not actually going on the ride. But that is gonna be the end of today's video here at SeaWorld Orlando, showing you the top things to see and do here on your next vacation. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new here to the channel and make sure to ring that bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Like I said, that's the end of today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Also remember, if you're coming to SeaWorld Orlando from now until July 27th, go and get your free bear.